Hi, I'm Alan Stokel. Because I am off and off the grid, I need a cooler that will work for my batteries or the solar panels on a very good day. So on this episode of this old fiberglass boat on Grampian Marine, making a 12 volt fridge. A compressor fridge might not be practical without a generator and even my outboard doesn't have an alternator so I was using my old 12 volt cooler in my modified quarter berth but it's just too busy down there what with the love seat for extra guests and being so close to the galley and I'm storing the cockpit cushions and the uh, the tables for the cockpit in that space so I wanted to move it to where the ice box used to be on this boat which was the forward cockpit locker so here's what you'll need to complete this project I'm going to use styrofoam sheet insulation, foam on one side. What's on the other side? Foil. Uh, you will need an all metal utility knife, a uh, heat source such as uh, an alcohol stove, a tape ruler, and a marker pen. Now normally I say what? Measure uh, twice, cut once. Now I'm going to say measure three times, cut once, because I did waste a little bit because I wasn't careful enough with the measurements. Now I'm putting a total of one inch or 2.5 centimeters of extra insulation on all sides of this cooler. And I have the foil side in. In other words, it's towards the inside of the cooler. Now here's a big hint. I'm sure you've heard of hot knifing, but this part's new. I heated my utility knife on my alcohol stove before cutting the foam. It gives a nice clean cut with no burrs. Once that's complete, I glued them together with 3M marine caulking. I put beads on the back to keep them from squeaking together. I hate that noise! Now the thing that makes this an electric cooler is this. It's a thermoelectric device. It works off the Peltier effect. Mr. Peltier, it's not a Canadian name, yeah, I thought so. Anyway, Mr. Peltier discovered that when you put a DC current across two different metals in contact, you either get heat or cold depending in which direction the electricity is flowing. Keep in mind that these coolers can only keep foods at about 25 degrees Celsius cooler than the ambient temperature. So putting them somewhere where it gets really hot is not a good idea. This locker is actually uh, slightly below uh, the water line. So really doesn't get much warmer than say I don't know, uh, during the water during the uh, summer, not much warmer than 20 degrees. There's lots of space in this cooler, and I'm using the top of a Coolatron 12-volt cooler I found in the garbage. It runs on the same principle, the Peltier effect. But you can make one yourself with the info that's here. Now a contractor left me a sheet of this styrofoam, so, so far it really hasn't cost me very much. So here it is finished. Thanks for watching this episode of This Old Fiberglass Boat on Grampian Marine. And if you like, you can watch some other episodes. In the meantime, you may want to look at these. Cooking on a boat. We show you the easy way. How to make a bacon explosion on a boat. How to talk like a sailor. Arr. 
And finally, something really strange and archaic, the May 4 Code. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.